welcome back to our channel guys today i'm gonna show you the ultimate side dish guys the ultimate side dish you take this to a barbecue you present this at your barbecue um you bring this to anywhere the people are gonna love it love it i guarantee you 100 percent, guys i have not made this dish one time and people do not like it so let me show you spin you around show you what we're gonna work with okay guys what we're gonna make I named them this already because I made them so many years now. I, I named them Big Al's Famous Baked Beans. You can call them whatever you want. They're baked beans, basically. But let me show you the ingredients we're going to be working with, okay? We're going to make a whole tray. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this whole tray up with baked beans, guys. And these are the ingredients for the baked beans. First, first, you need a big can of Bush's Original Baked Beans. If you don't have a big one like this, you could use the, the these size, probably about three of them. That'll be the equivalent of one of those big ones, okay? This one, you leave the juice in, okay? Every, all the rest of these beans, you're gonna take the juice out. You're gonna need two cans of kidney beans, which is of the red ones, okay? You're gonna need two cans of black beans, black beans. And then you're gonna need two big cans of the pinto beans. So guys, it's called baked beans. We're gonna mix all these beans together, okay? Put them on a tray. Open them up, take all the juice out of these, except this one, this one the juice goes in. And then, on the side, we're gonna fry up some bacon. Once the bacon gets fried and crispy, we're gonna add onions to it and let those caramelize up. And we're gonna add those to the beans, all right? Then we're gonna add, so like I was saying guys, after we consume all the beans, we're gonna fry up the bacon, fry up the onions, we're gonna add those to the beans. Then we're gonna add half of this bag of, of brown sugar and half of this bottle of molasses, guys. And that's pretty much it. And then what I'm gonna do is after I combine all these ingredients, I'm gonna stick those inside the, the smoker outside where my ribs are, and um, on the top shelf, and we'll let them, cook in, let them cook in there for about an hour, two hours. The last two hours, I'll probably put them in when I, after I wrap my ribs. I'm making ribs too, so in case you guys didn't know. But let, 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 let's get started on this. First things first, first thing we have to do is we have to fry up the bacon and the onions. So I'm going to get started on that. And then we'll start opening up all the cans and I'll show you guys how we're going to combine it and how it's going to get looking, okay? Guys, this is a foolproof right here. If you guys have never made this, I encourage you, I encourage you guys to try this recipe. It's so easy. Bushes, baked beans, kidney beans, black beans, and pinto beans. It's like a fart fest. Let me start up with these these uh this bacon right here, guys. So I got my bacon in here already, guys. Now my little splash splash guard so that if it starts splashing, it doesn't make a big mess. We're gonna fry up the bacon first, guys. Get it nice and crispy. Once you get it nice and crispy, then we're gonna add the onions so that they get caramelized, alright? So one step. Super easy. Okay, guys, I got all my beans opened up. Super simple, guys. Super simple. Remember. The bushes, baked beans, are the only ones that you leave the juice in. Everything else, all the other beans get drained. Don't leave the juice in there. You don't want it tasting like those beans, especially the black beans. The black beans have an ugly juice in them. So we're gonna mix these all together. I'm gonna dump these in first. The big, ba the the bushes, baked beans, and we're gonna mix them all up. All right, we got the book, uh, the bushes in there first. Doesn't matter what order, guys. Remember, the juice from the bushes you want to leave in there because that's really tasty juice, okay? Then we're going to add our kidney beans. So I tell you, this is going to be a fart fest, guys. Super delicious, super easy. I'm going to add my black beans. And then we're gonna add our pinto beans. Pinto beans. And then we're gonna give it a nice turn right now and just mix them all up real good, okay? Over here, I'll have my bacon going. Just frying it up, getting it nice and crispy. Once I get it nice and crispy, I'm gonna add my onions and caramelize that, okay? You want to get the beans all nice and mixed up so that they're all, it's going to be a colorful array of beans, guys. 
once you mix the black, the red, the pinto, and then the bushes, it's going to mix it all together. Right now we're going to add our bacon. Bacon, we're actually going to throw the bacon grease in there too, guys, because you got to remember, you want them to taste like pork. So a lot of times when I do these too, if I'm making a pork butt, what I'll do is I'll make the beans and I'll put the pork, put the beans under the pork butt so that when the pork butt's dripping down, it drips down on into the, into the tray. But we're making ribs and when I put the ribs in today, I'm actually going to be, um, wrapping them so when i wrap them they're not going to be dripping anything in there so we're just that's why we're going to add the bacon grease into it so there it is they're all mixed up now we just got to add our, our 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 bacon and onions and then we're going to add our brown sugar and molasses okay so now i added my 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 onions to the bacon and i'm just going to let those saute up guys the bacon's almost done so by the time the onions are done it should all get nice and crispy together and then we're going to add this to our our beans so let that fry up a little bit all right guys this is what you want your consistency to look like your bacon with your onions you just want your onions caramelized you can see the bacon grease in there that's okay we're gonna throw this all into our beans right now and that's just gonna make the beans that much better guys check this out I'm going to drop them in there. Bacon grease and all. Okay. So we're going to let that, I'm going to give that a good mix right now. Get the bacon grease. The beans, the onions. Get all a good mix. Okay. Right now we're going to add our brown sugar. And the brown sugar, what I'm going to add, guys, I'm going to add half of this bag right here. So 32 ounce bag, two pounds. So I'm going to add about a pound of brown sugar. And then I'm going to add half of this molasses. Only half, not all of it. No measuring, guys. We don't measure here, so I'm just gonna put about half of this bag in there. It's about a pound, a little bit more. Okay. Now we're gonna add our molasses. Grandma's molasses, guys. We're gonna add about half of this. And then now we're just going to give it a good mix again. So now we have our bacon bits. We have our onions. Our different types of beans. We've added some brown sugar. We've added some molasses. And basically that is it, guys. That is it. You can stick this in your in your oven if you wanted to. Um, you can put this on your barbecue if you wanted to. Um, you only need it really. You only need to cook it for maybe like kind of just warm it up in a, in a sense. I like to stick it in for about two hours, hour and a half at very low temperature. Usually, what I like to do is, uh, like I said, let uh, a pork butt drippings drip on top of it, and it comes out better. But that's why we use the bacon too, so it gives it a little bit more flavor. But uh, in a minute, in a while, I'm going to put it in a smoker and I'll show you guys how I put it in my smoker. Uh, super simple, guys. Like I said, this is, this is something that everybody likes, guys. This is not a hit or miss. This is a hit every single time. So if you guys are interested in making these beans, I encourage you guys to give it a whim. So easy, guys. Set it up. I set it all up in about 30 minutes. Okay, guys. I'm outside again. I'm about to add my famous, big L's famous baked beans. I'm going to throw them in the smoker. I'm going to throw them up on the top shelf up there right now. Check it out. Okay. Baked beans are in. Ribs are looking pretty damn good. Got about two more hours left in the whole burn, guys. Two more hours. 